Hi, and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today, I'm going to deconstruct for you seven iconic drum machine grooves of the 80s. I am going to start with one of my favorites, number seven, Soul to Soul, Keep on Moving. Now, this groove was built on a TR-909, this guy, by Jazzy B, who happens to be also somebody I know personally. So, let's get started with it. Kick drum going boom, 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 right? And then I'm gonna make it fully, full, full dynamic. And then I'm going to select the closed hi-hat and just write all of them and make the accent on one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, all right? Then I'm going to select the snare drum and I'm gonna put it on five and 13, as you would. But then here comes the magic, because I'm going to select the shuffle and put it to four. Keep on moving, keep on moving, don't stop, no. Keep on moving, keep on moving, don't stop, no. It's super cool, isn't it? You have to remember that this groove influenced Enigma Sadness. Do you remember the song from the 90s? Yes! Hey, if you like this video, put a thumbs up! Yes! It's free to you and it helps me a lot! Yeah! Thank you! Next! Number six, Trio Da Da Da. Now, this is a super fun song. It's in German. I don't know if you ever heard it. It's the one that goes Da Da Da. Din 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 din. Monster hit from 1982. The drums were this humble Casio VL1, which is like an 8 bit proto synthesizer from that era. Unfortunately, mine doesn't work. But fortunately, I've got UVI, the kind sponsors of today's video. Look at it. They have Toy Suite. This is brand new and they've got all kinds of weird instruments, like this one that I really, really like. Yuki. Watch, believe, carry, already. Casio VL1 right here, okay? Drum kit, yeah? Here. <laughs> it's very simple. It's like un pa 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 un pa pa un pa en ka ka ta ta. You know what? Let's program it. 126 BPM and yes. And then we quantize. Tick, tick. Control D and off you go. Da da da. Ding 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 ding. Da da da. Ding, 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 ding. I think you should check out UVI. Down below there is a link. They're really cool. They support this channel and they make amazing plugins. Next! Number five, In Excess, I Need You Tonight. This incredible drum groove was programmed on a Roland TR-707, which I have right here. Start, kick drum. One, five, nine, and 13. I will follow with the accent, which goes to 1, 5, 9, 13, and 16. I will then add the snare drum, which is on 5 and 13. Then we have the famous rim shot, which is selected like this, and it goes on 1, 8, 10, 11, 13, 15. After which, I'm going to add a clap. There you go. And I'm gonna put it on five and 13. And finally, the most important bit, in my view, the hi-hat, which is going to go on uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16. I need you tonight. 
It's cool. You like this one, didn't you? Well, if you like this one, you're gonna love the videos that I'm going to produce next. Subscribe to this channel. Yes. And also hit that notification bell. Yes. Yeah. Next. Number four, Blondie, Heart of Glass. Now, this single was released in 1979, so it's not properly 80s, but it did influence the 80s in a very big way. This is the first time that we really heard the CR78 fully featured. I don't have a CR78, but I have the UVI Beatbox Anthology 2. So the drum pattern is actually quite complex because it starts with a clave. So let me find that clave. Let's record it. Yes, that's it. Just quantize right there and we have it. Then we need the kick drum. That's how it goes. Check out. That's right, quantize again. Then we have a conga, which is gonna play part of the guaguancon, which is a Cuban rhythm. Yeah, just the electronic version of it. Then we have the toms, which I have um, put on a different channel just for my benefit. And uh, that goes like this. I'm sure you remember now. Last touch is the hi-hat, which is just 16 notes straight. I think it's, well, to be quantized, number one, but also it's a little bit too loud. How about if we put it down there, remove the click and go. Next! Number three, New Order Blue Monday. This is quite epic and it's also quite fast at 130 BPM. This track is a prime example of how you use an Oberheim DMX. I don't have one, but I've got Beatbox Anthology 2 by UVI. By the way, look at how many amazing drum machines there are right here. Check it out, it's incredible. Anyway, this is how the DMX sounds. Oh. These toms, I love them. <sighs> Lovely. So the pattern is actually quite simple, but tremendously effective. It goes like this. So I think I'm gonna play it bit by bit because otherwise it's a little bit too fast. Yes, then we wanna quantize it. Probably loop it, snare drum. <laughs> I rushed the last one, yeah, quantize, no problem. And then the kick drum. That's what seals the deal with this pattern. Let's listen to it, loop it, remove the click, and enjoy it. It's like relentless. Next. Number two, Whitney Houston, I Wanna Dance With Somebody. This is a very, 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 very famous song. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. And for this, the producers have decided to use the TR-808. Yes, the TR-808. And guess what? I have my chart, which comes from the Super 808 package. This one, where I also give you all of the samples of my original custom-made 808, it's beautiful, I know. Let's program this baby, yeah? So the first thing that I do is I erase the entire pattern, which I do like this, right? 
we have actually two patterns to program here. We will start with variation A. So it goes like this. BD, which stands for bass drum, goes on one and nine. We are gonna put an accent on one and nine as well. Then we're gonna go to the claps, yes? And we're gonna hit two, three, five, then 13. There you go. Then we're going to choose the famous cowbell, 11, 12, 14, 16, and then we're going to use all of the hi-hats, just like that, all right? And then what we do is we switch to variation B and we do that kick drum one more time, one, five, nine, then we're gonna have the accent on one, five, and nine, then we're gonna have the claps on two, three, five, and 13, right? And then the cowbell, we're gonna go as two, five, seven, and nine. Let me check out the claps. Yes, I've done that correctly. And then again, all of the hi-hats, all right? Then all you need to do is stop, put it on AB mode, and there you go. <laughs> Woo! Next! Number one, dead or alive, you spin me round. This drum pattern is like a machine gun. <laughs> and for a change, it takes into Latin music. I will start with the cowbell, which goes Oh, <laughs> let's play it, you know. Yes, quantize, maybe remove this bit. So then we have a kick drum, nothing new there. Quantize, let's join this. And then we have snare drum, obviously. And then we have the hi-hats. Now the hi-hats go jiggy 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 I told you this is basically 16 notes party track but what happens is that it goes chaka 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 because the first two beats they are soft so I'm gonna program it this way all right and then I am going to go like this Right? Yeah? Makes sense, right? And then the last part, claps. They go. That's right. Quantize one last time. Cut. Loop. You spin me right round, baby, right round Like a record, baby, right round, round, round You spin me right Check out UVI's link in the description This sounds amazing Thank you, UVI I love you, UVI I love you guys Take care, and I will see you later After you've watched this <laughs>